If you're still looking for love, you may want to check your genetics. That's right. A new dating app called Faramore is using that concept to help singles find their perfect match. So how does this all work? Here with us now is the co-founder and CEO of that app, Osma Mirza. Thank you so much for being here. And this is fascinating because just in doing research on this, it seems like what it does is it takes all these online apps and, and dating websites that sort of incorporate what you think you know about yourself and uses actually what you are. Yeah, that's exactly what we do. So there's a portion of your genetics that encodes attraction. And when you see somebody across a room and you see this instant spark, that's actually what's working at play. But DNA isn't everything. So we look at your likes, we look at your interests, we look at your hobbies, and we can put all of that together and help you make more informed decisions about who you want to go on a date with. So this is set to launch in February, the beginning of February before Valentine's Day. Walk us through if somebody wants to, to try this, what are they going to have to do? Yeah, so they go online. We'll be launching in Houston um, first because that's where we're from. And they go online, they order a Fairmore kit, which will include the genetic test, and they download the uh, app on their phone. It's a mobile app. So it's you'll be able to see all the local singles, and you'll see a percentage. And that percentage will tell you how compatible science says you will be. Mm -hmm. how, how do you respond to critics who say this sort of removes a little bit of the fun of the chase out of it all? Yeah, you know, that's something that we thought about as founders because we're hopeless romantics too, but I think a lot of those missed connections that we hope that we'll find, those romantic connections, this is just a way to help find them better, to maybe even find more of them. So exactly what it does, and we have a graphic to show this, it combines genetic information, as you said, with social media data, so you're kind of getting the all-in-one there. It helps scientists predict the attraction, and it costs fifteen ninety nine for that genetic test. Is that a one-time fee? Is that the only fee yeah it's a one-time fee of 1599 uh, to do your genetic test and then there's a monthly membership fee but it's waived for everybody who is coming onto the platform first we'll be doing city specific launches and expanding early next year this is fascinating have, have you done any tests on people that where it's actually worked yeah, so there's actually four decades of research that has proven and validated that this biological attraction exists. So we haven't done tests specifically sp simply because the science is already there, but we're definitely going to be beta testing the user interface and getting feedback from our early adopters and making sure they're happy with it. And we should check back in next Valentine's Day, yeah, Valentine's right. Day 2019, <laughs> to see what happened. Asma Mirza, thank you so much. This is fascinating. It stuff. is. I'm just a believer in, like, I don't know, that eye contact right. thing, that attraction.